Hello everybody, Sergeant Soul Tuner back with How To Rust, and today we're looking at putting doors on triangle foundations and triangle floors. Now, with the recent update to the game, a lot of people are having troubles putting these doors on these triangle floors and foundations. Apparently, that's what's happening right now. You can't do it. Don't know why. I don't know if it's intended that way, and they said, you know what, screw it. You can't put doors on triangles anymore. Or if it's an accident, it was a bug, some kind of mess up, don't know. But I do know that there is a way to work around it, and I'm going to show you that right away. So here we are on the triangle foundations. I made a, a medium-sized tower, and the doors go in pretty easily. For one, I, I really love the animation they added, but for some reason I've never had a problem getting the doors on the triangle foundations to go. Maybe, maybe that part's not bugged, I don't know. But as soon as you start working your way upstairs, you start having problems. And every single one of these is going to end up becoming red. Now, if you were to go through the door maze, over to here, here we go. If you were to go in here, square on square, it's blue. Perfectly fine. It's just when you're going from either a triangle to a triangle or a triangle to a square. So here's how we're going to end up working around this. It's actually pretty simple and you can do it on almost any base design. You have to get rid of the triangle. And I'm not talking about just the floor. You have to get rid of the walls that are connected to this, this wall here that's attached to the square. As soon as you get rid of those, your door now places. So again, you got to remove the floor and the wall and the door places. Well, if there was stability, there's not. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of How To Rust. We are working around the problem of putting doors on triangle floors. And some people are having it with foundations, but I haven't had that problem yet. So I don't know if it's specifically tied to just the floors themselves. And if there's anything I may have missed, or if this demonstration wasn't clear enough, please let me know and I will try to explain in the comments. But otherwise, I will see you in the next How To Rust video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching How To Rust, a series for new players to the game of Rust. If you have any ideas for future episodes that could be useful to new players, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section of this video.